how do you get the seeds out of a pomegranate? Use a knife, cut in half, and then use something with a weight and hit on the back. Okay. Now see here, it's all out. Instead of using this hand, some people use this side. That works. Or you could use anything. You can use the metal. That works too. Ice cream screw. That works. Other tools you may use. For example, screwdriver, you can even use the fist. Make sure when you hold it, hold one end. Uh, the end with the heavier weight is the, the one you use to knock. And get a bowl large enough so it doesn't splash and stain your clothes. You may either just eat it with the seeds. Some people do, but I don't. So there are two ways to make juice. The first way, you can use a blender or food processor to blind this and then use the sieve to separate. The second way is the press. People selling the machine to press. A lot of time I find if I really want the juice and I only have one pomegranate, it's a lot of trouble to wash the blender. So what if I do experiment, press a small amount. Here's, I have a ball, I have a, a big spoon. It touched very tightly. And let me just put this uh, pomegranate in. I push it in and then I, I try to press it. Hmm. So the, the juice will come out. If you have an ice cream scoop, you can press it too. So this way is easier to wash. But you might end up bending your ladle into undesirable fashion. I found that it's easier you put a little bit more in, then you can actually get more juice. If you do not have an ice cream screw, you can use the spoon. Again, careful not to bend it. Bend so the spoon. Put your finger here and then just press it. But some people say they just eat the seeds so much easier. If you're like me, I either eat it or I use this method to choose it. If you blind the grind very fine and the, the hole in the sieve is too big, you can put a, a paper towel there, pour it in, and maybe you have to use the hand to get the more juice out like this. Okay, so let's just try without pressing. I put the seeds in here and without pressing, and I will use my hand to press it. Yeah, use my hand, just press like this. This works too. Yeah, if you're the one who's going to drink it, sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel this comes apart quickly, you can use a cheesecloth. Either the blinder or you press. The second step is after you drink the juice, add a little bit more water so it will rinse the remaining juice out. Because this is expensive, it's okay to dilute the juice a little bit. It's better you rinse and maybe go through the process again. So that will save you money. We have shown the two different ones. One is use a blinder, one is you squeeze it. If you have a lot, use the blinder because that will justify the time you wash, clean up. If you only have one pomegranate, I like to use just squeeze. Among the a few different ways to squeeze, I think the hand you get most juice out of it. Of course, you should not show this to your guests because you're using your hand to squeeze. Maybe when you show it, use the glove instead. <laughs>